Well, hello folks, and uh, welcome back. Would you believe it, part two? I'm sorry I had to leave you uh, a bit on a cliffhanger last night, but I didn't want the video to drag on and on and on. I'm told I send too many people to sleep as it is. Gypsy, Gypsy Heart Entertainment. Just told her, I'm sorry, love, I'm going to have to mute you because I'm filming. But Gypsy, I've told you, I'll give you a shout out. Gypsy Heart Entertainment, a lovely girl she is too. Currently driving on the back roads of uh, somewhere in America. Right, we're going to carry on stripping the wire where I left off last night. Enjoy. Okay, look, I'm going to strip this uh, armoured cable. The way I do it is, well, get a stone. I get my knife. I give me knife a little lick. I put my big block in place, and this is optional, not everyone needs to do it. I get my cable, and I stick my cable there. Back a bit. Right, let's take the knife, stick it in. And score it all along. The optional step. Give it a bash. That will split it open. You can then just. So if you give it that bash and split it open, you can just. Peel it like a banana. Easy peasy. You then got your your steel core and you just in another bash a bit of a twiz don't forget the twiz and you can pull that out and you got your galvanized steel this is going my iron bin <coughs> although being a nice little galvanised wire, you can keep that for gardening purposes. It doesn't rust, you see. In the bin. I'm leaving you. This. Here it is. Three cores of pretty decent copper. I love my iron blocks. For that, take one of my two favourite stripping knives. Pop this one. And it's a matter of getting the right angle and stripping it off like that. And there's the lovely copper. And again, it's repeat and rinse. So I actually prefer this uh, straight bladed knife. You can get the angle just a little bit better. Right off. Uh, interesting. There's some high voltage tracking on this cable. So uh, it's been overloaded at some point. 
So yesterday, folks, I was driving past this skip, and there it is. And as you can see, there's some more cable in top of on top of it. So I'll be coming back for that. That's it. We'll just park up here. Well. <laughs> Couldn't really find anywhere to park there, so I have to walk back. And uh, it's not so far. Yeah, a little bit difficult to come park opposite there, and I couldn't park there, it's at the top of a junction. Doors open, I'll just give them another shout. Yeah, quick chat to these lads, yeah, take whatever you want, no problem. Oh, we've got, this time we have a bit more cable, some spotlights, and I'll take some more of this floorboarding. See ya, back in the shed. So, we're back again in the back garden. A uh, bit more haul of cable, a few back boxes with brass in. Uh, there's brass in all these things. Some thin cable, some thicker cable, and some horrible looking spotlights. Really, well, I don't know, really back in the 70s, them. But they'll have some copper, have some brass in them. We've had that much rainwater lately that uh, the ground has risen. And the door will no longer go past that point. So that just shows how much the ground has risen. The scuff marks here are off the door because it does open normally to about this point. Just shows you how the ground rises and falls during different seasons. We're still tidy. Uh, well, it does look like there was a storm in here last night. I've not even yet finished tidying up from last night's stripping. I've now got all that cable to strip as well. Well, and I was... Uh, enjoyable stripping got all the wire now when i got the wire yesterday it was only a little bit and i'd have stripped it by hand now i've got that much and there's likely more to come again i'll probably knock myself up a stripper to strip it all i've done i've done a fair bit i showed you how easy it was to strip by taking the earth wire and ripping it down the length I'll show you another trick with this thinner stuff put it on the uh, tripod so when you get this uh, thinner one mil cable you can actually strip the individual wires out without having to strip the whole thing to get at the wires like I've done with this and it's the same thing, you just pull it through, get one end, it's so thin that it can actually pull the copper out of the sheathing, out of the sheathing, does that make sense? So I'll show you that again, You've got, I've got a piece here, what I've done, is take a knife Curved a little end out till I can get that piece. Start off with a pair of pliers and a good grip. And pull it all out, and then you can just it's stripped without having to go to the trouble. I'm stripping it. It's straight without having to go to the trouble of splitting the wires out of it first. Like that. 
So the only thing I've got left now is this horrible 70s style spotlight thing made out of wood. We now you just strip a wooden spotlight. Brass. Straight down the middle. Like I could turn the block over, give me a bit of a V to go in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Iron. That made that decision easy. Well, you can't see. I don't think you can see down there. They're all very badly burnt out. Yeah. Maybe I could have done something with them. But no, we're after the, we're after the copper and the brass. Might actually be, might actually brass, be brass screws. So, but they're not. Reduced down to its components, and there's something magnetic in them. I'll rip that into its two separate components, and we've got that bit's brass, and that bit's not. A tiny, tiny, tiny bit of brass. And if I really, really wanted to. Open that out, and if it'll focus, that's a bit of silver. Now, I'm going to tidy up. So, that's Ian in his shed. You see, it's going dark. It goes dark early these days. Come here. You start stripping. Time flies past. Okay. Right, time for a mince pie and some beer. What is it? 15th of November and I'm eating mince pies. There's something wrong about that. But my way of looking at it is there's so many different type of mince pies out there. You've got to try them all to make sure you've got the right one that you like on Christmas Day. Gorgeous. That's a mince pie to die for. That's a mince pie. And when you're eating your Christmas dinner, you gotta like leave some at one side just so you can fit a mince pie in afterwards. It's an Aldi mince pie, by the way. Most people that uh, live in the UK. Okay, folks, I've papped on enough. I hope you'll join the next video, which was in the middle of this video, which would have made this video too long.
see you in the next one. Bye all.